and welcome back. It's that time of the night that we get to learn some proper English pronunciations. Let me bring in Willis Oching. It's been quite a while, Willis. It's great to see you back on air. <laughs> Actually, I'm the one who's back on air. You've been doing a great job with Joy Doreen Vera. How have you been? <laughs> Uh, I've been good, Betty, and uh, you see, uh, what you look tells a lot about where you have been and <laughs> what you have been doing, and I just have to say cheers. <laughs> cheers right back, Willis. It's great to be back. <laughs> Willis, um, there's so many words. I have so many words that I want to ask you, but then I want us to start with word on the street. Let's take a look at uh, what Kenyans had to say uh, this week. <laughs> Bronchitis. 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 This bronchitis. 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 <laughs> so Willis, is it bronchitis? Bronchitis. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, some of these words are very tricky, and I have always said this. In fact, we say bronchitis, bronchitis, bronchitis. So we should avoid all those other versions. And uh, it reminds me about uh, the time that we dealt with meningitis. So we don't say meningitis, we say meningitis. And the word here on the street is bronchitis. It really got it. <laughs> um, moving on to another word. This one means uh, something in motion. Um, kinetic energy or do you say kinetic energy which one is it betty that word has two acceptable pronunciations mm -hmm. you can say kinetic with okay. that glide what i always call diphthong you can say chi or ki kinetic energy or kinetic energy ah, both are allowed both are just correct. like finance and okay. finance yes got it willis got it finance or finance that's a new one moving on to another one yes. willis um this one is a mouthful recapitulation or do you say recapitu is it two or two recapitulation <laughs> letter t takes the sound ch chulation recapitulation recapitulation right. and we should remember that the informal form of that word is recap recap okay all right got it Willis. moving on to another word now this word uh, means a swamp but it's also a town in england um do we say slow slow um how do you go about that one willis betty when we talk of a wet ground or some dumpy or damp ground you'll talk about slough and that town that you've cited so we say slough but remember the same word can also be used as a verb mm -hmm. that is to do away with or to remove but like All when right. we're talking about a snake mm -hmm. doing away with the skin mm -hmm. we say to slough slough uh -huh. But slough. when we're referring to a dumpy or a place which is wet, we say slough. So okay. the same word has two pronunciations and different meanings. Slough and slough. slough. The verb slough. The noun slough. Okay. Willis, just like a teacher. Yes. <laughs> just like a teacher, Willis. Um, <laughs> moving on to another word, Willis. It's a word that we use a lot. Do you say contemporary or contemporary? How do we go about that one? You can say temporary, temporary, contemporary, but you can also say contemporary. But in that case, uh -huh. what you have to remember about is you use what we call a sure, a weak uh -huh. vowel sound, okay. contemporary. You don't make it to be strong, uh -huh. but contemporary, 
always the best. All right, got it, Willis. Moving on to another yes. word, um, meaning something that was that that happened, but it was not organized, it was not planned, it was not rehearsed. Impromptu or impromptu, or even where is the stress? Impromptu, impromptu. How do we go about that one? But we have a primary stress on the second syllable. That mm -hmm. is promptu, prom, prom. So okay. you say improm, impromptu, mm -hmm. or impromptu. Tu is rare but standard. That is under what we call RP or its approximations. Mm -hmm. Impromptu mm -hmm. or impromptu. Okay. Eh, impromptu. That's yes. that's <laughs> that's an interesting one. I think I'll be using impromptu. Yes. Eh? <laughs> Moving on to this other one. You Willis. can say tu mm -hmm. or tu. All right. Got it, Willis. Moving to yes. this other one, do we say rare or rear to mean behind? We say rear, rear, not okay. rare. Rare okay. is R A R E, uh -huh. but R E A R, uh -huh. you say rear, rear guard, ah. rear guard, not rear guard. Yes. So it's rear view mirror, not review mirror. <laughs> Ria, you talk of Ria, R-E-A-R. -E okay, Ria, yes. Ria, got it, Willis. Now moving on to our feedback question, and um, it's an interesting one. Comes from, uh, let me see that, Dr. Mark of Nairobi. He says he wants to know this pronunciation. It's on our screens. Um, fungi, fungi, fungi. <laughs> How do we go about that one? <laughs> <laughs> Betty, you are reminding me about the day you are talking about champagne for champagne. Champagne, exactly. But oh, champagne. Now that you have this word, <laughs> <laughs> you say champagne. Yes. Anyway, the word that Dr. Mark of Nairobi is asking us to pronounce, we mm -hmm. say fungi, fungi, yes. and fungi. So three acceptable pronunciations for that word. <laughs> fungi, fungi, and fungi but remember the singular form is fungus fungus okay that's a surprise willis <laughs> that's a surprise i like those variations um <laughs> it always a surprise do you have any more surprises pronunciations for that matter <laughs> yes yes any more surprises willis for tonight <laughs> Well, Betty, uh, the surprise word tonight from Willis, or that is from me, is the word that many people pronounce or mispronounce as mm -hmm. chasten. When you look <laughs> at this word, many people find themselves saying chasten, yes. going by the spelling. Mm -hmm. But the correct pronunciation of this word is chasten, chasten. That is to make somebody be sorry for what they have done mm -hmm. or they have said or whatever they are sorry for. You yes. say chasten, not hey. chasten. And we also okay. say hasten, not hasten. Okay. He hastened to say no. Okay. Hastened to say. Such words are tricky, so we should avoid that. And well, finally, as I always bring confusing words, or oh, you have something, Betty? Yes, yes. So it means uh, the T is silent. Is that what it means? Yes, you don't pronounce that T. And letter A takes its name as the sound in that word. You okay. say chasten, not ten. Okay. We also say Christen, if I may also surprise you tonight, Betty. Uh -huh. You don't say Christen. You say Christened. Christen. So T is silent. <laughs> Are we together? Oh, yes, we are together. <laughs> Kristen. We are together, Betty. I so, anyway, the confusing mm -hmm. words uh, for this yeah. matter, or oh, for now, we talk of the confusing words, Betty. Mm -hmm. Many people sometimes say urgent, mm -hmm. urgent for the word agent. Okay. When we talk of the first word, that is the upper one, we don't say agent. He is an agent, uh -huh. agent, agent. But when we have the lower one, uh -huh. the lower word, we say urgent, urgent. 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 It's an urgent matter. Uh -huh. But so and so is an agent, uh -huh. not an agent. All right. Agent Are we together there? Oh, yes. Agent and urgent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The upper one, really. agent. Uh -huh. The lower one, 
urgent. urgent. We should always get such pronunciations correctly because that is when we can communicate intelligibly so that we don't confuse maybe our listeners or when we have any target audience. <laughs> Betty, how are you? <laughs> Will is sour. Uh, bow down. So it's <laughs> agent and urgent. <laughs> you used another word there, uh, yes. serious vocabulary, but uh, <laughs> you're the teacher here. <laughs> Will, it's always a pleasure having yeah, you. Yeah, confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my pleasure too. And Betty, uh, you know, when you are right there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me not say it, but... <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willis. <laughs> the word bastard there, uh, running out of words uh, very strangely. <laughs> of course, he's coming to us live from Kisumu County, teaching us those difficult pronunciations, the differences in pronunciations like agent and agent. And uh, you can always get him right here on Friday briefing. <laughs>